Vegetable oils, or vegetable fats, are fats extracted from seeds, or less often, from other parts of fruits. Like animal fats, vegetable fats are mixtures of triglycerides. Soybean oil, rapeseed oil, and cocoa butter are examples of fats from seeds. Olive oil, palm oil, and rice bran oil are example of fats from other parts of fruits. In common usage, vegetable oil may refer exclusively to vegetable fats which are liquid at room temperature. Uses of triglyceride vegetable oil Oils extracted from plants have been used since ancient times and in many cultures. As an example, in a 4,000-year-old kitchen unearthed in Indiana's Charlestown State Park, archaeologist Bob McCullough of Indiana University Purdue University Fort Wayne found evidence that large slabs of rock were used to crush hickory nuts and the oil was then extracted with boiling water. Archaeological evidence shows that olives were turned into olive oil by 6000 BC and 4500 BC in present-day Israel and Palestine. Topic: <coughs> <coughs> Culinary uses. Many vegetable oils are consumed directly, or indirectly as ingredients in food, a role that they share with some animal fats, including butter, ghee, lard, and schmaltz. The oils serve a number of purposes in this role. Shortening, to give the pastry a crumbly texture. Texture, oils can serve to make other ingredients stick together less. Flavor, while less flavorful oils command premium prices, some oils, such as olive, sesame, or almond oil, may be chosen specifically for the flavor they impart. Flavor-based oils can also carry flavors of other ingredients, since many flavors are due to chemicals that are soluble in oil. Secondly, oils can be heated and used to cook other foods. Oils suitable for this objective must have a high flash point. Such oils include the major cooking oils, soybean, rapeseed, canola, sunflower, safflower, peanut, cottonseed, etc. Tropical oils, such as coconut, palm, and rice bran oils, are particularly valued in Asian cultures for high temperature cooking, because of their unusually high flash points. topic hydrogenated oils unsaturated vegetable oils can be transformed through partial or complete hydrogenation into oils of higher melting point the hydrogenation process involves sparging the oil at high temperature and pressure with hydrogen in the presence of a catalyst, typically a powdered nickel compound. As each carbon-carbon double bond is chemically reduced to a single bond, two hydrogen atoms each form single bonds with the two carbon atoms. The elimination of double bonds by adding hydrogen atoms is called saturation. As the degree of saturation increases, the oil progresses toward being fully hydrogenated. An oil may be hydrogenated to increase resistance to rancidity, oxidation, or to change its physical characteristics. As the degree of saturation increases, the oil's viscosity and melting point increase. The use of hydrogenated oils in foods has never been completely satisfactory. Because the center arm of the triglyceride is shielded somewhat by the end fatty acids, most of the hydrogenation occurs on the end fatty acids, thus making the resulting fat more brittle. A margarine made from naturally more saturated oils will be more plastic more spreadable than a margarine made from hydrogenated soy oil. 
While full hydrogenation produces largely saturated fatty acids, partial hydrogenation results in the transformation of unsaturated cis fatty acids to unsaturated trans fatty acids in the oil mixture due to the heat used in hydrogenation. Partially hydrogenated oils and their trans fats have been linked to an increased risk of mortality from coronary heart disease, among other increased health risks. In the U.S., the standard of identity for a product labeled as vegetable oil margarine specifies only canola, safflower, sunflower, corn, soybean, or peanut oil may be used. Products not labeled, ''vegetable oil margarine'' do not have that restriction. <inaudible> <inaudible> Industrial uses Vegetable oils are used as an ingredient or component in many manufactured products. Many vegetable oils are used to make soaps, skin products, candles, perfumes and other personal care and cosmetic products. Some oils are particularly suitable as drying oils, and are used in making paints and other wood treatment products. Damar oil, a mixture of linseed oil and damar resin, for example, is used almost exclusively in treating the hulls of wooden boats. Vegetable oils are increasingly being used in the electrical industry as insulators, as vegetable oils are not toxic to the environment, biodegradable if spilled, and have high flash and fire points. However, vegetable oils are less stable chemically, so they are generally used in systems where they are not exposed to oxygen, and they are more expensive than crude oil distillate. Synthetic tetraesters, which are similar to vegetable oils but with four fatty acid chains compared to the normal three found in a natural ester, are manufactured by Fischer esterification. Tetraesters generally have high stability to oxidation and have found use as engine lubricants. Vegetable oil is being used to produce biodegradable hydraulic fluid and lubricant. One limiting factor in industrial uses of vegetable oils is that all such oils are susceptible to becoming rancid. Oils that are more stable, such as ben oil or mineral oil, are thus preferred for industrial uses. Castor oil has numerous industrial uses, owing to the presence of hydroxyl group on the fatty acid. Castor oil is a precursor to nylon 11. <laughs> Pet food additive Vegetable oil is used in the production of some pet foods. AAFCO defines vegetable oil, in this context, as the product of vegetable origin obtained by extracting the oil from seeds or fruits which are processed for edible purposes. <inaudible> <inaudible> Fuel Vegetable oils are also used to make biodiesel, which can be used like conventional diesel. Some vegetable oil blends are used in unmodified vehicles but straight vegetable oil, also known as pure plant oil, needs specially prepared vehicles which have a method of heating the oil to reduce its viscosity. The use of vegetable oils as alternative energy is growing and the availability of biodiesel around the world is increasing. The NNFCC estimates that the total net greenhouse gas savings when using vegetable oils in place of fossil fuel-based alternatives for fuel production, range from 18 to 100%. topic production The production process of vegetable oil involves the removal of oil from plant components typically seeds 
This can be done via mechanical extraction using an oil mill or chemical extraction using a solvent. The extracted oil can then be purified and, if required, refined or chemically altered. Topic: <laughs> Mechanical extraction. Oils can be removed via mechanical extraction, termed crushing or pressing. This method is typically used to produce the more traditional oils e.g., olive, coconut etc., and it is preferred by most «health food» customers in the United States and in Europe. There are several different types of mechanical extraction. Expeller pressing extraction is common, though the screw press, ram press, and garni powered mortar and pestle are also used. Oilseed presses are commonly used in developing countries, among people for whom other extraction methods would be prohibitively expensive. The garni is primarily used in India. The amount of oil extracted using these methods varies widely, as shown in the following table for extracting maura butter in India. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Solvent extraction. The processing of vegetable oil in commercial applications is commonly done by chemical extraction, using solvent extracts, which produces higher yields and is quicker and less expensive. The most common solvent is petroleum-derived hexane. This technique is used for most of the «newer» industrial oils such as soybean and corn oils. After extraction, the solvent is evaporated out by heating the mixture to about 300 degrees Fahrenheit (149 degrees Celsius). Supercritical carbon dioxide can be used as a non-toxic alternative to other solvents. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Hydrogenation. Oils may be partially hydrogenated to produce various ingredient oils. Lightly hydrogenated oils have very similar physical characteristics to regular soy oil, but are more resistant to becoming rancid. Margarine oils need to be mostly solid at 32 degrees Celsius 90 degrees Fahrenheit so that the margarine does not melt in warm rooms, yet it needs to be completely liquid at 37 degrees Celsius 98 degrees Fahrenheit, so that it doesn't leave a «lardy» taste in the mouth. Hardening vegetable oil is done by raising a blend of vegetable oil and a catalyst in near vacuum to very high temperatures, and introducing hydrogen. This causes the carbon atoms of the oil to break double bonds with other carbons, each carbon forming a new single bond with a hydrogen atom. Adding these hydrogen atoms to the oil makes it more solid, raises the smoke point, and makes the oil more stable. Hydrogenated vegetable oils differ in two major ways from other oils which are equally saturated. During hydrogenation, it is easier for hydrogen to come into contact with the fatty acids on the end of the triglyceride, and less easy for them to come into contact with the center fatty acid. This makes the resulting fat more brittle than a tropical oil. Soy margarines are less spreadable. The other difference is that trans fatty acids often called trans fat are formed in the hydrogenation reactor, and may amount to as much as 40% by weight of a partially hydrogenated oil. Hydrogenated oils, especially partially hydrogenated oils with their higher amounts of trans fatty acids, are increasingly thought to be unhealthy. Topic: Deodorization. 
In the processing of edible oils, the oil is heated under vacuum to near the smoke point or to about 450 degrees Fahrenheit degrees Celsius, and water is introduced at the bottom of the oil. The water immediately is converted to steam, which bubbles through the oil, carrying with it any chemicals which are water-soluble. The steam sparging removes impurities that can impart unwanted flavors and odors to the oil. Deodorization is key to the manufacture of vegetable oils. Nearly all soybean, corn, and canola oils found on supermarket shelves go through a deodorization stage that removes trace amounts of odors and flavors, and lightens the color of the oil. Topic. Occupational exposure People can breathe in vegetable oil mist in the workplace. The U.S. Occupational Safety and Health Administration has set the legal limit, permissible exposure limit for vegetable oil mist exposure in the workplace as 15 mg per cubic meter total exposure and 5 mg per cubic meter respiratory exposure over an 8-hour workday. The U.S. National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health has set a recommended exposure limit of 10 mg per cubic meter total exposure and 5 mg per cubic meter respiratory exposure over an 8-hour workday. Yield Particular oils The following triglyceride vegetable oils account for almost all worldwide production, by volume. All are used as both cooking oils and as SVO or to make biodiesel. According to the USDA, the total world consumption of major vegetable oils in 2007–08 was Note that these figures include industrial and animal feed use. The majority of European rapeseed oil production is used to produce biodiesel, or used directly as fuel in diesel cars which may require modification to heat the oil to reduce its higher viscosity. The suitability of the fuel should come as little surprise, as Rudolf Diesel originally designed his engine to run on peanut oil. Other significant triglyceride oils include Corn oil, one of the most common cooking oils. As of 2006, the U.S. produced about 1.09 million metric tons of corn oil, which is used for cooking oil, salad dressing, margarine, mayonnaise, prepared goods like spaghetti sauce and baking mixes, and to fry prepared foods like potato chips and French fries, grape seed oil, used in cooking and cosmetics, hazelnut oil and other nut oils, Linseed oil, from flax seeds Rice bran oil, from rice grains Safflower oil, a flavorless and colorless cooking oil Sesame oil, used as a cooking oil, and as a massage oil, particularly in India Aki palm oil, used in culinary and cosmetics Jambu oil, is extracted from the flowers, leaves and stem from jambu contains spilenthal Graviola oil, derived from Anona muricata Takuma oil, from Astracarium aculeatum is used to manufacture soap. Brazil nut oil, culinary and cosmetics use Carapa oil, pharmaceutical use and anti-mosquito candle Bariti oil, from Mauritia flexuosa, used in cosmetics skin and hair care Passion fruit oil, derived from Passiflora adulis, has varied applications in cosmetics manufacturing and for uses as a human or animal food
Prakashi oil, obtained from Pentaclethra macroloba, cosmetics use Solarium oil, derived from chloroplasts, various applications in cooking. Topic: Composition of fats. Topic: History. Such oils have been part of human culture for millennia. Poppy seed, rapeseed, linseed, almond oil, sesame seed, safflower, and cottonseed were used since at least the Bronze Age throughout the Middle East and Central Asia. In 1780, Carl Wilhelm Scheele demonstrated that fats were derived from glycerol. Thirty years later Michel Eugène Chevreul deduced that these fats were esters of fatty acids and glycerol. In modern times, cottonseed oil was marketed by Procter & Gamble as a cream shortening in 1911. Ginning mills were happy to have someone haul away the cotton seeds. The extracted oil was refined and partially hydrogenated to give a solid at room temperature and thus mimic natural lard, and can it under nitrogen gas. Compared to the rendered lard Procter & Gamble was already selling to consumers, Crisco was cheaper, easier to stir into a recipe, and could be stored at room temperature for two years without turning rancid. Soybeans were an exciting new crop from China in the 1930s. Soy was protein-rich, and the medium viscosity oil was high in polyunsaturates. Henry Ford established a soybean research laboratory, developed soybean plastics and a soy-based synthetic wool, and built a car almost entirely out of soybeans. Roger Drackett had a successful new product with Windex, but he invested heavily in soybean research, seeing it as a smart investment. By the 1950s and 1960s, soybean oil had become the most popular vegetable oil in the U.S. In the mid-1970s, Canadian researchers developed a low erucic acid rapeseed cultivar. Because the word «rape» was not considered optimal for marketing, they coined the name «canola» from «Canada Oil Low Acid». The U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved use of the canola name in January 1985, and U.S. farmers started planting large areas that spring. Canola oil is lower in saturated fats, and higher in monounsaturates. Canola is very thin unlike corn oil and flavorless unlike olive oil, so it largely succeeds by displacing soy oil, just as soy oil largely succeeded by displacing cottonseed oil. <laughs> Used oil A large quantity of used vegetable oil is produced and recycled, mainly from industrial deep fryers in potato processing plants, snack food factories and fast food restaurants. Recycled oil has numerous uses, including use as a direct fuel, as well as in the production of biodiesel, soap, animal feed, pet food, detergent, and cosmetics. It is traded as the commodity, yellow grease. Since 2002, an increasing number of European Union countries have prohibited the inclusion of recycled vegetable oil from catering in animal feed. Used cooking oils from food manufacturing, however, as well as fresh or unused cooking oil, continue to be used in animal feed. Shelf life Due to their susceptibility to oxidation from the exposure to oxygen, heat and light, resulting in the formation of oxidation products, such as peroxides and hydroperoxides, plant oils rich in polyunsaturated fatty acids have a limited shelf life. Topic. Product labeling 
In Canada, palm oil is one of five vegetable oils, along with palm kernel oil, coconut oil, peanut oil, and cocoa butter, which must be specifically named in the list of ingredients for a food product. Also, oils in Canadian food products which have been modified or hydrogenated must contain the word modified or hydrogenated when listed as an ingredient. A mix of oils other than the aforementioned exceptions may simply be listed as vegetable oil. In Canada, however, if the food product is a cooking oil, salad oil or table oil, the type of oil must be specified and listing vegetable oil. As an ingredient is not acceptable. From December 2014, all food products produced in the European Union were legally required to indicate the specific vegetable oil used in their manufacture, following the introduction of the Food Information to Consumers Regulation. See also Topic Notes and References Topic Further reading Gupta, Manoj K. two thousand and seven Practical Guide for Vegetable Oil Processing AOCS Press, Urbana, Illinois ISBN 978-1-893997-90-5. G. Michael, ed. 2002. Oils and Fats Authentication. Blackwell Publishing, Oxford, England. ISBN 1-84127-330-9. Salunka, D. K., Chavan, J. K., Ad Shul, R. N. and Kadam, S. S. 1992. World Oil Seeds, Chemistry, Technology, and Utilization. Van Nostrand Reinhold, New York. ISBN 0-442-00112-6. CS1 maint, Multiple Names, Authors List link.